Sarah used to work in the shop and who I gave a particularly glowing reference to in my first book um, has asked for this one. So Sarah Pierce, uh, thank you for choosing this one. It's Wednesday the 12th of October, online orders, two books found, two. So I'm abri I've abridged this because it's quite a long entry. Sandy the tattooed pagan came in at 12.15 and demanded a cup of tea. I told him that I was too busy, but he spotted Granny loitering near the history section and said, Don't you worry, Francesca can make me one. Despite my protestations, Granny went upstairs and returned with a cup of Lady Grey. What's this muck? was all the thanks she received. Sandy clearly prefers a less floral brew. Granny, is, her real name is Emmanuel, um, and Sandy can never remember her name, so we get Francesca, Isabella, all sorts of things. Anyway, my parents appeared at 4pm and complained that they had to park four spaces away from the door of the shop. My father, who has an almost pathological dislike of shopping and consequently is oblivious to the fact that it has been illegal to smoke in shops, pubs and restaurants since 2006, immediately loaded and lit his pipe and pr proceeded to share his opinions on various subjects about which we disagree, encased in a cloud of thick smoke of his own making. Thankfully, the shop was fairly quiet. Uh, oh no, that wasn't Sarah. Oh, that was Nori. Wait a minute, where's Sarah's one? Okay, that's another one from Nori. So this is Sarah. Um, and the entry is for... Um, oops, I have to go in a minute. Wednesday the 14th of September, Sarah. Online orders two, books found two. Um, again, I'm going to have to pare this one down a bit. Um, so here we go, I'll start about halfway through. Um, ran out of five pound notes, so I gave Granny a hundred pounds and twenty pound notes to go to the bank and exchange it for fivers. The moment she had the money in her hand, she said, Oh, so you finally pay the Granny, fucking bastard. I warned her that because I'd closed my Bank of Scotland account a couple of years ago, the staff at the bank usually complain when I take money in to get change from. Uh, they did, but they reluctantly gave her the money. Um, finished going through the books from the Bilston deal on Monday. Uh, at least, so I'd been to Edinburgh buying books on the Monday. At least 80% of it was rubbish. So I packed it into boxes and drove it to the dump in Whistorn. This dump is the recycling centre. Newton Stewart dump is closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Whenever I go to the Whistorn dump, I stick my head round the door of the porter cabin just out of courtesy to say hello to the people who are working there before driving to the appropriate skip. Today the person in charge was a young man of about 20 and he and his friend were sitting inside blowing bubbles of washing up liquid. I explained that I didn't have time to recycle each book through the tiny slots of the paper recycling units and asked if I could just throw the boxes into the household waste skip. He was fine about it. I suspect his relaxed approach to recycling may have had something to do with the eye-watering smell of herbal cigarettes. Um, there we go, that'll do. That's the interesting bit from that entry. Till total, 244.95, 19 customers. So thank you very much for putting up with me, and um, I hope you will feel inspired to buy a copy of the book, and I hope more than that that you actually enjoy it. So thank you.